So we touched on this at the end of the last video, and we talked about this in section 1.2, but it bears repeating one more time, that there is a difference between correlation and causation. Correlation is not causation in observational studies because there are lurking variables. Lurking variables are variables that could affect both x and y and are not included in the study or, um, or thought of by the researchers, but they're affecting what's going on. And sometimes they are thought of by the researchers, but there's nothing researchers can do about it. Um, that happens with observational studies. All right, so let's look at this cartoon by the artist Jason Love. He's a comedian as well. And I um, did, in fact, contact him, and I, he gave me the approval and copyright to put it into our notes course pack. So you can see right, we have a police person right here. And they have their arms crossed over their chest, and they're saying, statistics show that ice cream rates um, rise with the sale of, excuse me, that crime rates rise with the sale of ice cream. Now do your part and move along. So they boarded up the ice cream shop. This person's not going to be allowed to buy ice cream. No, no, no. Now there's nothing worse than um, explaining a joke, which ruins it entirely, but I'm going to do that just the same. So this cartoon is depicting that there is a strong blank relationship between crime rates and ice cream sales, which is very much true, by the way. Okay, so let's think about this. What kind of relationship are we showing? So we're saying if ice cream goes up, right, ice cream sales go up, crime over here goes up. That's the relationship they're showing, right? So as the sale of ice cream goes up, crime also goes up. So the police person says, well, I'm just going to board this up. There'll be no more ice cream sales. Therefore, there'll be no more crime. It'd be perfect, right? All right, so that's wrong, <laughs> but let's show. So this is a strong, positive relationship, right? They're saying that crime rates rise with the sale of ice cream, that they're both going up together. Hmm. Okay, so that's wrong, right? To think correlation is causation here is, is incorrect, right? Even though this is true, this is absolutely true. Matter of fact, um, there's a source here that would show you that it's true, right? So this happens every year. Ice cream increases at the same time crime increases. All right, so if we have X, which is ice cream over here, ice cream sales, so you'd measure it. Right? And you have Y, which is crime rate, right? the rate of crime. There is something else that's affecting both of them, namely the season. Um, you could also make an argument for weather. Right? It's summertime. right? Crime rate goes up in the summertime. Um, so uh, cities get hotter, people come out, they tend to get into arguments more. They tend to rob people more because they know people are generally gone um, for the su sake of summer vacations and things like that. So ice cream sales are increasing at the same time crime is increasing because of the season, because it's summertime. Right? Summertime has higher ice cream sales and higher crime rates. Now, if you live in California, it's still true, um, but it's a little bit more weather-related. <laughs> but the weather, of course, relates to the season. Fun, huh? So just so you know, correlation is not causation because of weather. So this police person should open that back up because we want ice cream. Yeah. All right, now what about our free reduced lunch example? So we had X, which was the percent on free or reduced lunch in a school. And then we had the percent passing the math tests, passing that state math exam. And that's Y, sorry. So we needed another variable that affects both of those things. That's a lurking variable. So a lurking variable should affect both of these things. And income level or poverty level, whichever way you want to think about it, definitely affects both of those things. Right? So income level affects whether a child needs free reduced lunch. It also affects their ability to pass math tests. Um, that's been shown many, many times over. Um, that's, that K-12 students that have lower income levels tend not to pass math tests for a variety of reasons. It's not because they're not intelligent. It has to do with their stress levels at home and things like that, their ability to study, um, the time on task, things like that. 